2014 severe weather season is off to a record quiet start for tornadoes, but setups in late April and early May look to turn that around. Storm chasers, using the latest weather prediction models and real-time weather satellite and radar information, head out across the plains in search for nature's most powerful phenomena, tornadoes. The morning starts at 7 a.m. with a check of the latest computer models to determine where the best parameters lie. For tornadoes, you need all of the pieces to come together at the right time and at the right place. What are you thinking? Yeah, I was thinking like targeting. I want to like, target up high over here. That way we can go on 80 down Lincoln because there's. There's like three river crossings in yeah, here. They should be quiet. Right. Your storm is going to be right here. And it's going to be moving like maybe 30 miles per hour. They were moving slow in Missouri yesterday. So. It'll be easy to catch up to. Yeah. Our setup has a strong low pressure center moving into southeastern Nebraska by early morning with a warm front extending eastward across Iowa and a dry line extending southward across Kansas and Oklahoma. The best moisture will be across southern Iowa and into eastern Nebraska. Wind shear will be plentiful across the entire risk area from the warm front all the way down to the dry line. Instability, however, will only be the greatest across southeastern Nebraska as the skies begin to clear after a storm system moves through in the early morning. After determining our target area, which is southeastern Nebraska into southwestern Iowa, we wait anxiously at the Storm Prediction Center's 8 a.m. outlook before heading out. I go through three months a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it breaks, I just like throw it away and just drive a new one. Like a control, control, control. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's just, oh, up, it's just up at the exact same time. It moved that 10% hash all the way over here. God damn it. Uh, what? <laughs> The Storm Prediction Center agrees that the biggest risk area is in southwestern Iowa and southeastern Nebraska. Are you near TV monitor? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like Probably are. Um, I'll know when we cross in Iowa. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's what I forgot. I'm gonna go watch it. Too sexy for this car. Too sexy for this car. Too sexy, it hurts. <coughs> that lady took forever. What did you guys hear about that uh, drone? No, that lady. She was uh, she was taking forever to get change or whatever, and then she was like asking the cashier like about her kids and if she has a husband and all this personal stuff. And I was like, oh, I love it when they tell which way is faster, right or left? Just go left. Around. Left? Yeah. Mixed deep cameras in the way I can't see. Shut up. <laughs> We're on the road again. After about a four hour drive, we stop for lunch and to look over the latest weather data in Creston, Iowa. It's at this point that we need to decide whether to target the warm front in Iowa or the triple point in Nebraska. That's right. So here's your key Yeah, because here's the warm front goes all the way. What? Well, we're already good. 3,500. We decided to continue our quest westward and search for severe weather. After about another two hours in Iowa, we crossed the Missouri River into the state of Nebraska. While crossing the border, 
We also passed the warm front, and we now sit in the warm sector with plentiful moisture and high instability. All we need now is a storm to fire. Almost to our target area, the Storm Prediction Center issued a tornado watch valid through the late evening hours. The risk for tornadoes was high, with a few intense tornadoes possible. At 3 p.m., the Storm Prediction Center released its newest outlook, increasing the tornado probabilities right over our target area. The show was getting ready to begin. Maybe they're out checking the property. Summary of severe weather outbreak, including the pinch, potential for very large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes, some of which could be intense, will develop this afternoon into tonight from central Kansas, north to eastward through eastern Nebraska into central Iowa. A couple changes have been made to the outlook for this is, uh, issuance. The first change is to add a narrow corridor of Hans tornado threat across southeast Nebraska and western Iowa. The latest one. One kilometer visible satellite imagery suggests storm initiation has taken place near the surface triple point in Webster County, Nebraska. Moderate instability and strong deep layer shear across southeast Nebraska should result in rapid supercell development with cells tracking northeastward along the warm front late this afternoon. Enhanced storm relative velocity along the warm front should be very favorable for tornadoes. At this point, confidence is great enough to warrant adding a 15% tornado probability contour from Fillmore County, Nebraska, northeastward across the vicinity of Omaha, Nebraska to just west of Des Moines, Iowa. A long track strong tornado may occur along this corridor late this afternoon. We're dead in the middle. It's, that, it's the, the her. It's got to be the her. They look at that her and it's been so consistent. Woo, we made the right choice. At 2.30, first signs of storm initiation occurs just south of Hastings, Nebraska. This convection is sitting right along the warm front, which is ideal for tornadic development. The storm quickly explodes and is dropping tornadoes by 3.30 in the afternoon. There looks to be a lot of dust on the left. It'll be, it'll be right in front of us. Legit, like right in front of us somewhere. Maybe to the... Yeah, that yeah. would be alright. See that oh, out yeah, there? Totally. Yeah, or that's D. Or is that just like the light of the clouds behind us? No, that's definitely something down there. As we race west towards the storm, storm chasers already on the storm are what reporting a very large tornado near the town of Sutton. As we round a turn approaching Fairmont, we can see the three quarter mile wide wedge from miles away. Is that it? Is that a tornado? That's clear sky and left and right. Is that whole thing the tornado? I mean, that, the, that's clear sky on left and right. We continue moving west on US 6 to get a closer look at the tornado. As the storm rapidly intensifies, we attempt to stay ahead of it while staying out of the rain. At this point, the main circulation center becomes fully engulfed in rain and the tornado becomes rain wrapped, making it very difficult to see. Somewhere in the rain lies an EF3 tornado with 150 mile per hour winds. Our concern shifts to satellite tornadoes on the edge of the mesocyclone where these photogenic tornadoes may be. RFD, or rear flank downdraft, wrapping around the backside of the rain wrapped tornado, moves on top of us. These winds are estimated near 100 miles per hour from the National Weather Service, strong enough to bring down these high tension power lines off to our cell. Oh, power lines down! Power lines down! Roll your window! Roll your window, guys! Power lines down. Power lines down. Roll up your window, man. Roll up your window, guys. Very strong RFD right here. Wow. Go, 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 go. Dude, I, it's right here, dude. This is the tornado right here. Where? And that's oh when God, a satellite tornado forms. forms just ahead of us, making this tornado number two for the day. Oh, right there, there right it is. There. Turn it on the ground. Turn it on the ground. Right there. I see it. Hold on. Right there. There it is. Just keep going south a little. I know, we're going, we're going, we're going. 
while we're heading south to try and get out of the RFD, that's when we run into the power lines that just collapsed to the ground. Luckily for us, we had an escape route, which you should always have while storm chasing. We're heading south in our escape route. Another satellite tornado is sitting in the field off to our east. That's when the RFD catches up with us. I'm not even looking at the tornado. Oh my god, we gotta go. This is it, this is it. Go, 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 go. These are rank currents. I don't know what the hell this is. Dude, pass him. Pass him. Go, 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 go. Just go. Just go. We gotta go. I don't know who this is. can't see anything, guys. Once again, the high tension power lines are covering the road and blocking our escape to the south. The emergency responder that we passed a few seconds ago crosses over them, giving us confidence that we can safely do so as well. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Can we get out of the left lane? Holy crap! Yeah. That's just RFB! I know, but this is nuts! My GoPro's on there! <laughs> Three. We got the three. I know, we gotta go. I know, we, we got going. Stop I know, saying that. I We're know. We're good. We're fine. Holy crap. That was RFD, I think. There was a tornado there. That was RFD. There's more. Uh, where is it? Where is this page right now? How far? Once we are safely out of the RFD, the storm drops yet another tornado just to our south, right ahead of us. This tornado continues for another 30 seconds before dissipating in the field. Now that we've reached our paved east-west road, we can parallel the storm as we head east. The storm has become a high precipitation mess as it turns to our north. It has a one and a half mile wide EF3 tornado on the ground, completely obscured by rain, packing 140 mile per hour winds. South of the main tornado, which is near Cordova, a rotating wall cloud is trying to produce another tornado just off to our north. Tornado sirens are blaring as we cut to the town of Milford. We continue tracking the storm for another 30 minutes as we head closer to the Omaha metropolitan area. Thankfully, the storm has lost intensity and the tornado threat is dropping significantly. Sitting out ahead of the storm, we watch the intense lightning before calling off the chase day. It's time to start the long drive back to Macomb, Illinois. Yeah, I got it.